Now the not operator acts like an inverter. It basically reverses anything that I originally said. For example, if I say I like ice cream, but I put a not operator in front of that sentence, it is really like I just lied to you. So I really do not like ice cream. So for example, if I put an explanation mark in front of this condition, one is equal to two, that's going to return true. The reason that's going to return to true is because even though this statement is false, since I have this explanation mark in front of it, it's going to invert or reverse it or give you the opposite of what was originally the result of this condition, which was false. So it's going to invert that and it's going to make it true. So for the not, what we can have is not true or let me put that in lowercase. The result of that is going to be false. And the same with this situation and it's going to return true. So it's just the opposite of whatever is the result of this condition inside the parentheses. Now I should also mention that you can have more than two conditions in here. If I wanted to have three or four or five, how many ever you want it, that's fine. So for example, I could have added another and condition and I could have said three greater than two, or if I wanted to mix it up a little bit here, I don't have to have just an and operator in, in this parentheses. I could also put an or, I could say or two is greater than one. All right, so when we go back and evaluate this one, for example, since we have an or in here, like I said with or, only one of those situations have to be true. So if this one is true here, we don't even have to look at if these are true because since this one is true, it makes this whole condition statement true. And again, we'll get more into this in the next tutorial. But again, just wanted to let you know, you don't have to just use two conditions as I have here. So this does complete the PHP operators tutorial. Be sure to take the online quiz at the phpbasics.com to make sure you have a good foundation about some of these important principles that will come in handy in the next tutorial. So I'll see you in the next video.